a Blitz and Benz build. All right, so we got it for the first time on all four wheels here in the garage. Uh, body isn't complete yet, obviously. Still got a lot to go. Um, lots of all the functional stuff. I think is it well is in there, and I think it works. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna slide up in the truck, and we're gonna go try to do a test, and maybe hit a car wash, and uh, clean the mess off of it. Maybe uh, maybe as we go down the road, some of those shavings and loose bits will come out. I think I've taped down everything I don't want to lose, and everything else is bolted down. And if not, we'll find out. Abracadabra. Load it up. That's a nice quiet parking lot. All right. Let's see if I can get down by myself without killing myself here. I did not tighten those ramps up. And we'll see if the steering stays straight. Let me move that strap. I am a little worried about the steering. Um, that's one of my concerns. We'll see if it runs. Brakes are my other, my other concern. No, I don't want to scrape the belly. so bad so far so good we had a let's see if uh got ackerman got inside and outside so let's see what happens oh it's rubbing really bad here just turning it like this and again the brakes the brakes seem to be all right Seem to be holding up somewhat. It's a little busier around here than I thought it would be. Oh, I hear people. Push on. Starts pretty easy. Runs pretty quiet with that muffler under like that. Entirely.
Oops, a little run. This might be a boring video. works. Come on. Fucker. Try the old over the hand method. Mm, guess not. I might actually be able to get out without moving the steering wheel. Little brake works. The little scratch right there. Did I lose the chain? Lost the chain. I gotta fix my switch situation. I got it where both switches kind of work. And when that's the deal, neither of them tend to work. So I lost a chain. Hmm. Well, it wasn't an alignment issue. I just broke a chain. It wasn't even the master link. Ooh, put a little torque to it maybe? Or I might have damaged the damn thing. All right, well, that's gonna be it for today. <laughs> All right, so uh, brake works. Brake works. Um, steering kind of works, so I'll have to go back and look at the video. Felt like it turned all right. Um, yeah, I felt like it actually turned all right. All right, let's load it back up and uh, go send it through a car wash and run some errands and get her back to the shop. Well, we got it back, back in the garage, the little garage shop here. So washed it, thinking about it. So this was, to me, a success. I mean, it's first outing. It did run, steer, and stop. Uh, the stop was real good. What did I do right there? I bent that up. Yeah. Um... 
fix that later. So the steering um, seemed okay. The It's got great Ackerman. That inside wheel really turned sharp. You can see, you know, the inside wheel is moving more than the outside wheel. And I, you get that by making your pitman arm look like that. But I think I exaggerate. I think I, 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 these are too far apart. I think that needs to come in by a half inch. That needs to come in by a half inch. Um, so that'll be redone. Ooh, got a little bit of contact there. Uh, right there, so that just needs to be clearance a little bit. Uh, it drove. It stopped. Stopped real good. Locked up the brake. So I guess the brake is good. I, and I only have one one wheel key, the other one free wheels. I knew I'd be on pavement out there. It's a success. So I'm happy. What next? So next is modify that motor. Um, take the governor out, put the flywheel in it, rejet the carburetor, put a, a header pipe on it. The uh, sprocket is kind of big. It's a 75 tooth. That's a hill climber. I don't know if I'm doing any hill climbing. That might be why I popped that chain. It might have been just so much torque that uh, it popped that chain. And it wasn't the master link that let go. Interesting. It was the one after the master link. So, uh, huh. I mean, it has, it's been a while since I popped the chain. And I know a lot of people run a 40, uh, 41 because they uh, don't trust the little 35s. But... Previously, I hadn't had any problems with the 35, and that's a stock motor. That's not a hopped-up motor or anything like that. Hmm. If I sound indecisive, it's because I am. Because I really just want to go out and beat the brakes off the thing, but it's got a long ways to go. So, function first, then form, even though I'm doing a little bit of form before function. So the brakes are good. The throttle assembly works good. Steering, I think we're going to work on that pitman arm. We're going to we're going to work on that steering arm, and uh, and redo that. And then uh, engine engine alignment's good. It wasn't an alignment issue that uh, screwed a chain up. It was the uh, it was the uh, uh, probably either a weak chain. I nicked that chain when I was uh, doing a master link with the grinder, or I uh, or it's just got so much torque it just uh, popped it. Um, I do have a better chain too. I got some better chain, so hopefully the 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 non cheapo brand Chinese chain um, will work okay. So that for function, that's where we're going, and then uh, for form, still gotta uh, get the hood, um, the cowl piece. I think I'm gonna do the cowl today, here in the evening, and then uh, the nose figure out that nose i may redo that nose that fiberglass one i'm not entirely pleased with this i mean i'm pleased that it came out and looks like something and it's very very light and it's it appears to be pretty sturdy too for what it is but the shape isn't exactly right i got it more like a beak than a parabolic uh cone which what the is what the original was so oh well it's practice right and then the tail section and uh and then uh who knows after that all right let's put her away it's enough rambling a lot of uhs and ums from me today <laughs>